In this screencast, we'll look at the calculation of crystal field stabilisation energies for octahedral complexes. In an octahedral complex, the five 3D orbitals are split, with three of them, the T2G set, stabilised, and two, the EG set, destabilised. The total energy of the five orbitals is the same after this splitting, which means that the T2G orbitals are stabilised by 0.4 delta rho, and the EG orbitals are destabilised by 0.6 delta rho, where delta rho is the energy gap between the two sets. The manganese 3 plus ion has the electronic configuration argon 3d4. We'll look at the possible arrangements of d electrons for this ion in an octahedral complex. The first three electrons go into the three T2g orbitals, one in each and parallel to each other, as you'd expect from Hunt's rules. There are two possibilities for the fourth electron though. It can go into the eg orbital, which gives rise to a high spin complex. This involves occupying a higher energy orbital, but avoids pairing electrons. Alternatively, it can go into one of the T2g orbitals, pairing up with an electron already there. This gives a low spin complex. The low spin arrangement avoids filling the higher energy orbital, but it costs energy to pair the electrons. Will a particular complex be high spin or low spin? Well, you can gain some insight into this by calculating the crystal field stabilisation energy for the two possibilities, remembering that the T2g orbitals are stabilised by 0.4 delta rho, and the EG orbitals are destabilised by 0.6 delta rho. For the high spin complex, we've got three electrons in the T2g orbitals, so that's three times 0.4 delta rho, remember that's negative for stabilisation, and one times 0.6 delta rho, that's a positive value because that's in the higher energy EG orbital. This gives a crystal field stabilisation energy of minus 0.6 delta rho. For the low spin complex, we've got four electrons in the T2g orbital, so four times uh, 0.4 delta rho, that's minus, because it's lower energy, it's stabilised. So we end up with minus 1.6 delta rho plus p, where p is the pairing energy. Which of these possibilities is favoured depends on the relative magnitudes of delta rho and the pairing energy p. If p is greater than delta rho, the electron will go into the eg orbital giving a high spin complex. In contrast, if delta rho is greater than p, the fourth electron will go into the T2g orbital, giving the low spin complex.